Welcome to today's video, the associative property of multiplication. To associate means to be connected together or to be in a group. This group of children, these three children, are in a group. They're associated. They are what we call associates. These children are also in a group. They're also associated. They're in the same class. They're associates. The associative property of multiplication states that when grouping, when the grouping of factors is changed, the product will remain the same. Now, have you ever been on a roller coaster? I'm sure you have. If you haven't, it's okay. We're going to do a multiplication word problem that involves two rows of seats, each row having two seats, and there are five total cars on this roller coaster. How many seats are there in all? Well, remember, each car on the roller coaster has two rows. So I'm going to make two rows with two in each row. But at the same time, I have to make a total of five cars. So these are my seats. I know they don't look like roller coaster seats, but these are my seats that I'm going to use to represent the five cars with two in each row. So this is one car, two cars, three cars, four cars, and five cars. So my multiplication number sentence looks like this. Five times two rows of two columns. Or five times two rows times two columns. Now, if I take the multiplication number sentence, I'm going to multiply what's in the parentheses first. Two times two will give me four. So then I multiply five times four, and the answer is 20. Let's say I group it a different way. This time I'm going to multiply what's in the parentheses first, which is five times two, which is 10. And then I'm going to multiply that answer 10 by 2. 2 times 10 is 20. Let's say I arrange the factors completely different and I group them 2 times 5, which is still 10. And then I multiply by 2. And my answer again is 20. So no matter how I group my factors, my answer is 20, 20, and 20. And that's the associative property of multiplication. So now let's go ahead and practice. Write another way to group the factors, then find the product. Let's find another way to group the factors. So I have 2 times 1 times 7. Instead of doing 2 times 1 times 7, what I'm going to do is 2 times 7 times 1. Let's try that and see how it works. So we work out whatever is in the parentheses first. 2 times 7 is 14. You multiply that by the other factor that's left, which is 1. 14 times 1 is 14. Any number times 1 is that same number. So I did um, write another way to group the factors now. And then I found the product. Now I'm going to solve this one and see if I still get 14. So do what it's in the parentheses first. 2 times 1 is 2. And then 2 times 7, the other factor here, is 14. So my answer, answer in both cases are 14. Let's try the next problem. So 5 times 2 times 5. Let's switch that up to 5 times 5. And then I'm going to multiply that answer by 2. So 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 2 is equal to 50. If I add 25 2 times, my answer would be 50. So my product, my final answer in this associated property um, question is 50. What if I went over here and I did the same thing? 5 times 2 is 10. 10 times, the only missing factor here is 5. 10 times 5 is 50. So my answer is the same in each um, type of problem. The only difference is I'm switching the grouping of my factors. So no matter how I group my factors, my product will still be the same. Let's see if it works out for the last question. Instead of doing 3 times 2 times 6, what if we did 3 times 6 first? And then multiply that by 2. So 3 times 6 is 18. 18 times 2, that's 36. 
Okay, so 36 is my product here. Would 36 be my product here as well? Let's see. 2 times 6 is 12. Now, I'm going to multiply 12 by 3 times. 3 times 12 is 36. So my answer is the same in both cases. So, as the associative property of multiplication states, no matter how I group my factors, my product will still be the same. So no matter how I group my factors, my product will still be the same. Thank you for joining me on this video lesson. I hope you learned a lot. Take care and I'll see you on the next video.